वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स इन दिस सब्जेक्ट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ इमेजिनेशन विथ इमेजिनेशन ओनली वी कैन मेक दिस सब्जेक्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड ईजी यू हैव टू इमेजिन योर सेल्फ इन स्पेस लाइक यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज वेर अ ट्राइंगल इज विजिबल this is the front view of this particular image but if we want further details we have to go into the y and z axis now you can see that it is in actual a prism so the very important thing in this subject is imagination let us begin with our discussion our discussion starts with the very basic element of the universe everything which is present around us is made up of atoms atoms are very small particles yourself myself the trees the the rivers the planets everything is made up of atoms and these atoms have charges inside them we have two kind of charges one is positive charge and other one is negative charge all the atoms have electrons rotating inside them themselves now if we imagine that there is no bonding then everything will break down and it will be scattered the bonding is very important in the concept we have the space we have the force and these charges which are very tiny particles we have to imagine them in a broad way let us compare them with the sun and solar system where we can see there is a sun and there is a point we are representing in a zoomed way which is nothing but a sphere but i think we should make this sun more proper and more emissive because sun having emissions so let us have this sun which is emitting light in the entire surrounding region and the charge which is available around that particular sun is very tiny object compared to sun but a person is a person no matter how small these charges they also emit the force lines around them if it is a positive charge the force lines goes outward as it is shown here if it is a negative charge the force lines will come inward all the charges either it is positive or negative they exert some kind of force in the surrounding region on the surrounding things if there is no force everything is combined with force if there is no force then what will happen everything will fall down like we can see in this particular image there is a sun and there are the planets rotating around the sun but if we remove the force and bonding everything will fall down but luckily we have newton's law sir isaac newton formulated gravitational theory around 1666 after watching an apple fall and asking why the apple fell straight down rather than sideways or even upward he showed that the force that makes the apple fall and that holds us on the ground is the same as the force that keeps the moon and planets in their orbits The situation shown here is described by Newton's second law of motion. According to NASA, this law states force is equal to the change in momentum per change in time. For a constant mass, force equals mass times acceleration. Let us now compare Coulomb's law with Newton's law. Newton's law gives relation between two masses. It states that force between two masses is proportional to the product of masses on the similar lines coulomb's law gives relation between two charges it states that the force between two charges is the product of charges let q1 and q2 be these two charges as shown in this animation both of them states that the force between these objects is inversely proportional to the distance between them say r or d is the distance between them it is a very common logic that if any object is going away from another object the force between them 
reduces with the distance increased if someone's proximity fit with another object increases the force will also increase the force may be attractive or repulsive if we combine these relation we find the newton's force is proportional to the product of masses by r square and the coulomb's law is proportional to the product of charges by r square the constant of proportionality used in newton's law is g which is gravitational force the constant of proportionality used in coulomb's law is k which considers the permissions given by medium for the proximity of charges most commonly used charge is electron electron is an example of tiny negative charge but this tiny element is root cause of all the currents and all the communications we have around us forces it is an experimental law of physics that quantifies the amount of force between two stationary electrically charged particles as we know that similar charges repel each other we have charge 1 and charge 2 here charge 1 is q1 and charge 2 is q2 if they are similar either they are in space or in the same plane if they are having same polarity they will repel each other if the charges are opposite in nature one is positive and another one is negative they will attract each other like we can see in this particular animation this complete concept is all about the forces and the attraction i hope you have a clear understanding of coulomb's law in this short video let us meet with the concepts of electromagnetics in the next video till then have a good day